So I had a few requests uh, for a little video on my uh, resonator guitars, and I have two, this one and that one. And I'll play first uh, the same piece on both guitars and then talk a little bit and play some more. have a different sound production and that's what well uh, is the main difference between for example a national and a dobro and you could say that this is a national it is not but the same it has the same setup and the other one it's like a dobro and the difference lies in the placement of the cone and how the string vibrations are uh, transferred to the cone in um, this one like a national the sound uh, is produced by, well, the biscuit and the cone. So the biscuit, this is a wooden piece where uh, the strings rest on, is placed underneath and sits on the cone. And the cone is placed like this inside the guitar. So it goes around like that. And I think that's also why you have more overtones on this type of guitar than the other one. The other one has a, what they call a spider setup. And here the cone is placed like that in the guitar, in the body. And the strings rest on also a wooden uh, saddle placed in an aluminum um, well, device. And the cone is connected with eight bars going like that. It's like a spider's web and also those bars are connected with each other like that. So the string vibrations are going to the outside of the cone and that produces this sound and you could say that uh, well people say that this sound is a bit more nasal and well there's a whole lot of history behind that and um, i put some links in the video description to uh, tell you about that how that came along and this guitar, this type of guitar is mainly used in uh, what I call bluegrass music and mainly as a lap slide guitar played like that and people like Jerry Douglas are uh, famous players. And to illustrate the overtones I'll, I'll play just a little bit piece. And if you take the other one with the biscuit you're gonna hear Totally different. There's more overtones here. Um, both guitars have heavy strings. This one has uh, resonator strings by the Dario Phosphor Bronze. 
and starts with a 16, 18 and so on. It's like a medium set but with heavier strings. And the spider setup has also um, heavy strings but these are I think Martin bluegrass uh, strings. They are nickel uh, wound strings. Both guitars were in open G tuning. And well, the provenance, this one I bought about, well, more than 10 years ago uh, on eBay. It's a used guitar and it's made by a Canadian uh, luthier called Joseph Janus Yellow. And I should say the difference between a wooden and a metal body is also, well, significant. A wooden body has more sweeter sounds. And they use laminated wood, so this is not um, is koa, but koa veneer, very nice. But it's veneer, it's not solid because uh, laminated woods are stiffer, and the more stiffer, uh, the better. Well, the sound um, production it bounces off more than um, a solid piece of wood. So uh, I've put in the video link, the description below, a link to uh, Joseph Yanuziello's site. You can hear more uh, about that guitar, how it is made. And also I should say that um, spider setup guitars, they have a sound well inside. And there's a nice picture on that website where you can see. Uh, that also contributes to that typical sound. And the other guitar was made by uh, John Alderson of the UK. I had it made to my specifications. And well, what is different, of course, it has a different color than uh, other guitars. So it's a nice sunburst, a bit reddish. Also, this is a sort of fan type, you know, F holes. And um, also, well, you see, all. Resonators as the have these five uh, well sort of uh, inlays rectangular pieces of inlay and they cover up the bolts with which the neck is fitted to the body and I didn't like that because it makes every resonator look the same cheap or expensive doesn't matter so uh, those bolts are covered here with wood pieces of wood and you, you don't see those five. Uh, pieces. That's also a little different than, uh, well, factory made guitars. Okay, I'm gonna play a bit more and I'm in open detuning and after that I will play even more and well show you that the resonated guitars are not only for bottleneck but you can play any musical style on it. And I will play then with the light strings and without the bottleneck.